This morning I was taking a dump and I was on my phone browsing TikTok and I came across this video with 7.1 million views. Now, I'm not going to give anything away. We're watching it together. It starts off with this god-awful tacky belt, which is the marketing of this specific character. But they say I really beamed a kid in class and they send an image on Discord of tic-tac-toe. And after a couple of seconds, turns out they get a little message from a bot saying, Roblox account cookie found. Basically what they're doing is advertising an image logger, which is if you apparently if you click on an image in Discord, you'll get your Roblox account stolen. And just to make it clear, the word beamed is a skid vernacular for stealing someone's account. Now, our tacky belt slinging boy wonder is not a one hit wonder. In fact, they have a sequel to this video with an even worse belt. And <laughs> let me tell you, this belt sucks, but their marketing is fantastic because their Discord invite link is discord.gg slash belt. And they're showing the same thing of an image logger. When someone clicks on this image, they get their account stolen. Now, unfortunately for me, I don't have any any other belts that I can critique. However, image loggers are a massive thing on TikTok. Look at all these videos, you know, 60,000 views, 200,000 views, 7.1 million views, 1.8 million views, 991,000 views. These things are getting a whole whack of ton of views. Now, the reason for our belt slinging villain to post this video on TikTok is not to just flex that they have the most god-awful taste in belts, but it's to try and convince you to buy their image logger. In fact, there are a couple other TikTok videos. I have a massive list, as you can tell. We have this person here talking about puff logger and they they're spamming tiktok and at some point i think tiktok's gonna think they're a robot but if you go to their discord server oh zoomed in a little too much and you try to get some of these image loggers you'll notice that they try to get you to buy it and oh ten dollars of nitro to get myself an image logger Pfft. These guys are just selling things left, right, and center. And in fact, this is an extremely common trend. We have uh, this person here with Visterial Image Logger, and it's the same video, and they're releasing it for $5. Now, I think it's high time I tell you, are these image loggers real? No, th these things aren't real at all. However, there are ways that people can use embeds to scam people. So whenever you paste in a link to a website like Tenor, Discord servers will talk to it and say, hey, give me that gif of Thanos dancing like a, a oh my god, like a hot damn. Then when Discord gets that gif it'll host it on its own website so when i click on this image it's just me clicking in discord there's no connection to the outer world i'm not going directly to the tenor website so that means that there's no possible way that me just clicking on an image can allow someone to steal my roblox account but and this is the biggest but you'll hear from me this open in browser button is a little scary because when you click on open in browser it will take you to the original website that hosted the material so when i click on yes i'm going into tenor and tenor is completely fine nothing too crazy right however However, there are scammers that use this to their advantage, and they'll send you a, a super sick image of Thanos dancing in a GIF, but when you click on open in browser, it will take you to either a fake Discord or Roblox login page where you enter in your username and password and kaboom, your account is now stolen, or in less serious terms, it might take you to a website that will just log your IP, and through that they'll say that, the, oh, I hacked you, I got your IP. So to simplify it, as it's simple as possible, clicking on an image like this on Discord does absolutely nothing. Clicking on open in browser may put you on a website that could have malicious things. So it should be clear that these totally not bullied belt buckle boyos that are wearing the most god awful drip on the planet. <laughs> of course, I was trying to figure out how much these belts cost. So if you know, let me know, please. Because like if this thing's over $10 at a dollar store, God, what a waste of money. But all these guys are trying to do is just make you join their discord server where they sell you something that will just never work. Now, why stop at just trying to get $5 from someone when instead you can make YouTube videos talking about image loggers that just host malware. Look at this, imagelogger.zip. The second I try to download this, my computer said, this is a this is big time malware, my guy. What are you trying to download? And I'm clickbaiting you by kind of going on YouTube, but it also happens on TikTok. There's this Ares V1 tool. I go to their Discord server. I got to go to this re-entry link, and now I got to get the send.cm and run this sketchy, 100%, totally not, oh, zooming in, sketchy Ares V1 exe file. Now, what these sketchy virus exe files will do is it will steal your Discord account, but it also steal your credit cards and username and passwords that are stored on your browser. The second you open up one of these exe files, you're spending about five hours of your life wiping your computer and changing every single one of your passwords. It's pure torture. Now, one final question and one final bit of fun that I had in my mind is how do these guys, how does this belt wearing fanatic, once again, that's how the belt looks, ladies and gentlemen. How do they make such high quality videos where it really does look like they're using an image logger? Well, are they some sort of crazy video editor? Well, no. What these guys did is they just used some sort of fake application that pretends to be an image logger. As you can tell, I'm trying to drag this image into no text-to-speech's DMs. I enter it into his DMs and... 
oh my goodness, I just got a notification that he clicked on the image and now I have his Roblox account. In fact, this is his Roblox account. This is the same one from the last video. How did this ever happen? Well, of course, all I needed to do is just copy the user ID of the profile, put it into the program, and now every single time I press the enter key, uh, I'll send an embed that pretends to generate a fake Roblox cookie. All this is just randomly generated garbage. And in fact, I probably need to zoom out a little bit so you can see what's going on. But I press the I press the escape key again and look, beaming x subscribe, and we have this token and we have all this stuff. This is just randomly generated garbage that happens every single time I press the enter key. In fact, let's just end this video off with a lot of spam. I'm putting the enter key up to my microphone. Oh yeah, I'm beaming kids on Roblox, guys. Put this put this bad boy on TikTok. We're getting 10.5 billion jabillion views, baby. Oh my goodness, look at all these Roblox accounts that are totally not randomly generated numbers. I'm losing my mind, as you can tell. Anyways, this is the end of the video. I think at this point, I think I'm probably rate limiting the webhook and I'm probably going to get banned off Discord, but that's completely okay because I'm still beaming kids on Roblox. Anyways, bye-bye. I love you. Mm -hmm.